What's going on guys? Alain Gonzalez here, MuscleMonsters.com, and I want to welcome you to another episode of Ask Align, where I take your questions directly from my Facebook fan page and answer them right here in one of these videos. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Brandon Silva, what advantages does an ectomorph have? I would say one major advantage is that typically when we are trying to achieve a, a certain level of leanness, it's a lot easier for us to do that without uh, drastically reducing our carbohydrate or overall calorie intake. Um, Ross Elliott, I want to improve my diet to include more protein. The meat's fine, but most diets recommend nuts and fruit, and there lies my issue. I'm allergic to all nuts and most fruit. Is there anything I could eat instead? Absolutely. If you're allergic to nuts, then obviously you just don't want to have them. Uh, however, you said most fruits, which means that there still are some fruits that you can eat. And I would highly recommend that you do. All right. But as far as protein goes, um, other sources of protein, uh, maybe wheat, pasta, dairy, uh, eggs, Greek yogurt, uh, just to name a few. Uh, you could also get these, uh, you know, the egg protein powder. Uh, whey protein powder, and those might help as well. Uh, Kevin Clements, a line. I've always heard to do your cardio in the morning on an empty stomach, but lately I've heard it's an old wives' tale. Which is it, true or lie? Um, I guess you could say it's a lie because most people would say that you have to do it in the morning on an empty stomach to get the best results uh, when the truth is is that although you can do it in the morning on an empty stomach, it doesn't mean you have to. The real object or goal should be to maintain a caloric deficit over time uh, to burn overall body fat. All right, and although people would argue that you would burn more fat directly during that training, uh, it really wouldn't matter. So for example, if you took somebody who does uh, morning cardio on an empty stomach, uh, you know, two identical individuals, and one does it on an empty stomach in the morning, the other doesn't, and they consume the exact same amount of calories, there will be no difference. All right. Next question, Peter, best way to find maintenance calories and how to make a deficit with cardio? Great question. Um, I find the easiest way to find someone's uh, maintenance calorie level is to multiply their weight in pounds by 16 and it, the 16 is not just a number that I came up with um, it has to do with the thermic effect of food of physical activity and your metabolic uh, rate um, and so on and so forth but ultimately that's a good place to start now once you do find your maintenance level um, just adding any cardio to that will put you in a deficit uh, because if you're eating out of maintenance and you increase your physical activity, then uh, you're burning more calories than you're consuming, which means you are in a caloric deficit. Sean Lidster, is getting in a gram of protein per pound of body weight necessary? I find it hard to consume that much protein in, in a day. What would be the minimum you would recommend a line? Thanks in advance. I think the minimum I would ever recommend would be 0.8 per pound of body weight. However, I typically recommend a little bit more than a gram per pound, maybe 1.2 just to be safe. Um, what I would recommend for you is probably uh, adding uh, maybe like some kind of a protein supplement into your diet to make it a little bit easier for you to reach those protein goals. But if that's not an option for you, then 0.8 would be the absolute minimum. Angel Garcia, how often should I train or should an intermediate level trainer train biceps? And if I overtrain my biceps, will it grow? All right, if you, your biceps are lagging and you wanna put more emphasis on them, um, meaning you wanna specialize on your biceps training, then I would say two days a week uh, of direct biceps training. Mike Guerrero, hey Alain, I've been working out for a while now and getting some good noticeable results, but very frustrated with stubborn belly fat. 
What would you suggest I do to lose the belly fat and not lose the muscle gain? Thanks. Great question, Mike. Um, as you know, a lot of the time when we're trying to build muscle, we're eating in a surplus, and eventually that will lead to some fat gain over time. Uh, so that's why I think it's very important that when we do uh, exceed a, body, a certain body fat percentage, I guess you could say, then that we do a body recomposition where we take two to four weeks, just a short period of time, to do a small cut uh, just to bring us back down into the, the more optimal uh, body fat range. So um, what I would recommend for you is to check out this video I did pretty recently. I'll put a link in the description and I talk about uh, cutting fat without losing muscle. All right. Last question. Mu Wen. How to reach my macronutrients when I can only have three meals every day? Thanks a lot. I mean, there's so many ways that you could uh, kind of schedule your meals out. If you know your macronutrients, then you can kind of just split that up into three meals. Or what you could do is just kind of eat big meals of kind of whatever. Obviously, you want to keep it healthy and nutrient dense for the first two meals. And then your last meal, just kind of make it fit whatever you have left. So say, for example, you have after those two meals, you have four grams of fat, you know, 17 grams of protein and 28 grams of carbs. Then the only strategic meal planning you would have to do would be on that last meal. All right. And that's just one example. I'm sure there's tons of other ways or better ways to do it. But that's what I got from the top of my head right now. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to click the like button below. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. If you want your questions answered, go to facebook.com forward slash muscle monsters. Click the like button. Make sure that when I post a status statement that it's question time, you leave your question in the comment section to that status and I'll answer it here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Instagram and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.